Hey, Chris here, and I am coming to you today from an uh, apartment in Columbia, where I am now. I just arrived yesterday. So, it's a beautiful night. I got the, uh, got the door open because there's, uh, the weather is perfect, even in winter, which actually is one of, the, one of the wonderful things about being a digital nomad, about being able to travel the world, is that you don't ever have to deal with bad weather if you don't want to. You know, there's always good weather somewhere in the world. Or, I mean, you know, you get rained on sometimes, but you don't ever have to, you don't have to ever have to live in the cold or you don't ever have to live in the heat. You know, I'm from Florida, so I'm a little sensitive to that. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, the, the weather is beautiful here. Um, it is all year round here, actually. These people are super spoiled. And um, sitting in an apartment that I got off of Airbnb, which, um, <laughs> kind of a funny story there. Usually, usually whenever I, I get to a city, I like to, uh, I like to get uh, get a place for just a few nights. I just get uh, I'll just get a cheap hotel or a, or an Airbnb that I'll book for a few nights, and then um, and then I'll I'll if I'm going to try to find like a longer term accommodation, then I will figure that out when I'm already in the city. Uh, this time I didn't do that, and um, it was definitely my mistake. I booked a whole month at this place, and I get in here, and it's a nice apartment. It's got a nice view. You can probably see it behind me a little bit. But it's tiny. This is the tiniest apartment I've ever seen. It's like a hotel room with, uh, like, with a tiny kitchen added on. It, it, like, it doesn't even have a closet for my clothes. So, it's uh, this is going to be interesting for the next month. But um, anyway, so if you're booking on Airbnb, yeah, that's my recommendation: is that don't book for a whole month at once. You know, if you haven't even seen the place. Anyway, so what I wanted to talk about today, actually, was uh, was. How, how much time you're saving if you don't have to commute. I was talking about my personal journey to being a digital nomad and part of that, uh, part of, part of like one of the, the benefits that I appreciate now that I'm there is not having to commute. People don't realize what a giant waste commuting is. You know, everybody knows it sucks sitting in traffic. It sucks, uh, you know, sitting there having to wait um, behind a steering wheel and not, uh, you can't do anything, right? I mean, you can do is listen to a podcast or listen to music or something. You can't really do you can't really do anything too awfully productive. Um, you know, if you if you ride public transport, maybe better. Uh, I don't know how how conducive that is to doing any actual work, but you know, at least you don't you don't have to have your hands on the steering wheel and your eyes on the road the whole time. So maybe that's a little better. But anyway, um, most of us most of us that that work in an office have to commute and that was that was my situation so I did a little bit of the math to figure out just how much of my life I was wasting before when I was uh, when I had to commute so let me pull that up real quick my commute generally I managed to to uh, I actually I lived in the city center and then uh, most of my jobs for, for some reason happened to be outside of the city center, going against traffic going the most of the traffic to avoid the worst thing. Uh, which was nice. It's still, it was still, it would be about half an hour both directions. So from that, I went and explained out how much time I was wasting. So hour in, in both directions means two trips, uh, two trip, or rather half an hour times two trips because you have to go there, and you have to come home. So that's an hour per day. That's uh, and times days is uh, five hours per week times fifty weeks. You know, assuming two weeks vacation, that is 250 hours per year that are just down the toilet, just completely wasted because you had to commute. So, um, and if you work that out into work days, if you divide that out into eight hour work days, that's 31 work days per year. So 31 whole work days, that are, that's basically a whole month of work. It's just completely wasted. And, um, you know, it, it affects your salary, too. You know, you think you're getting a good hourly rate. Like I, I calculated, if you're making $25 an hour and you have to, if you calculate, if you include the commute time, um, you're, you're working nine hours a day instead of, instead of eight hours a day. So really, you're making more like $22 an hour. And, if you're, and that's only if you're lucky like me and you had a short commute. If you had a long commute, say it's one hour. That would mean um, that would mean you're you're only making twenty dollars an hour, and that you're wasting two months worth of work days per year. So it's something to think about, uh, especially when if you're considering a remote job or a freelancing position. 
and you might have to take a bit of a pay cut, that might be okay. You know, it's probably worth it because you don't have to work nearly as much. And, you know, probably, I, I'll speak for myself here, but I didn't work eight hours uh, when I went into the office. I would be there for eight hours, but I wasn't working that whole time. Like, half of the time, my mind was off somewhere else because I didn't really like what I was doing. Um, so, you know, if you, if you work remote, uh, you can probably get the same job done in four hours and that, therefore have four hours a day extra that, that you're... Um, that you're doing something that's that's actually useful, maybe working on your own business, maybe uh, you know, maybe leisure, whatever it is, whatever it is that's meaningful to you. So those are just some things to think about. Um, I oh, other news, big news for me actually, and this is why I haven't gone live. I haven't really been publishing lately. Is that I just finished my uh, my product to teach people how to be digital nomads. So if you're the kind of person who doesn't like to sit in traffic every day. If you don't like sitting for eight hours a day at your stupid corporate desk job, then uh, check out check out my um, my free ebook. I wrote this ebook to tell you like A to Z how to do this completely for free. You know, it's a, it's a little general, and I'm I'm working on a video course too, which will which will tell the same things, but it'll actually like spoon feed you. It'll show you demonstrate live how how you will do it. So anyway, if you're interested in the ebook, take a look at that. Uh, I'll include the link to that below. And I think you really like. I think you will really like it. Anyway, that's it for today. Got any uh, comments or suggestions? Leave them below.